extension cord. Not happy. It's right up here. It is blinking, right? Yeah, it's blinking. <laughs> I have really important photos on here from the day that it got waterlogged, right? So I was on vacation with my girlfriend and my son, and we were at her lake house, and it's kind of like a beach area uh, where you can go down a little ladder, and then you're like, you can kind of walk around in the, in the lake. And I totally, I knew this was going to happen too. I put it in my pocket of my swimsuit and lo and behold, an hour later, I'm looking for my phone and it was in my, uh, it was in, it was in my pocket the whole time. So basically it never had a chance to back up to uh, Google photo storage. So I want to try to get to the memory card and get the photos off of here. But see, the thing of it is, is that Um, and I'm probably gonna like cut the crap out of my hand doing this or something live that would figure So I want to try to get to see if I can take it apart just enough to sort of dry it out and plug it into my computer and get the photos off of it um, Right now, so I'm just trying to kind of go around and uh, I don't know if you guys can really see this up here, but I'm trying to um Basically, get in underneath the screen. I'm trying not to shatter the screen either because that would suck to clean up. Oh, there goes the screen. Just crack the screen. Okay, well that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. The screen on this thing just completely just shattered. Um, or at least the glass did. So, I'm going to kind of just try to keep digging here. Maybe I can dig out part of the screen and get underneath it. The other thing is though too is it, it has like, so there's this back part here and then there's like this little divider. Um, yeah, there we go. So we can see how it's, I've like completely undone this. I've left the charger port pretty intact and now I'm just going to take off that piece, which is the bottom piece. Uh, which allows me to kind of get in this like edge here now. And break more of the glass, which I didn't want to do. Um... Man, I don't know how they like replace phone screens on these things nowadays. But basically it's kind of interesting. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of water in here. Um, I thought there was going to be a whole lot more water in here, but there's actually not. So let's try to go in through this audio port on the top here. So pretty much like the whole thing is just one big screen, like it's not, like I don't know if I can like, I don't, I don't want to take all the glass off of this thing, but I think, I'll, I think I have to. Okay, so that's... That worked out. I just don't want to cut my finger like wide open. Cause this this glass is like super sharp. I'm gonna have to like use the vacuum to clean all this up. So basically the hunt is to f remove the screen, possibly dry it out some more, and find the memory card and get it to work. Um So yeah, that's one other thing is you want to make, make sure that the buttons... Oh, did I undo the button? Oh, I... Oh, 
Okay, right. Okay, so the top of it on, is on this side. So I want to make sure that this that this uh, power button still works um, because you want to make sure that you can still like kind of turn it on and like get it to function if it does come back on, which I doubt it will. Um, which is kind of weird. That oh, I see. That's like a screw right there. Huh. That's interesting. I don't know how they put it back together then when the screen's on there. Like I said, I'm trying to keep like the memory, like the whole board and all that intact. And it's actually proving to be harder than I thought it was going to be. Let's try switching to a different tool. Let's try switching to needle nose pliers, right? Because needle nose pliers have never failed us. This is one tough phone, I'll tell you that. I mean, like, I've, I've never taken apart an iPhone or anything like that, so I really don't know. I can't, like, be the judge of an iPhone versus a Google Pixel, but I can tell you that this is one tough phone, it seems like. How do I get in here? Oh, it's got, like, these cushion things in here. Let's try to take out one of those. Oh, that's, that's for the, that's the speaker, that's for the speaker phone, hmm, interesting. So like I said, my, basically my main concern was getting this back cover off and uh, being able to plug it in. Ooh, I hope I didn't break that. Let's try plugging it in, making sure that it still comes on. Oh no. I bent over this little flap here at the end. Okay, I gotta keep going here and take off this little... The other thing I put down like this, <laughs> basically like, okay, so the light, the light still lights up, so that's good, but I don't want it to be like plugged in while I'm taking it apart, because like shorting and exploding on me are probably pretty high. All the time as a kid, I used to always like love like taking stuff apart, and I'd never put it back together. It was just to see like me taking it, taking it apart. You know, I think that was like so cool as a kid, is taking taking all my toys apart. Um, I really kind of like learned, well I kind of learned like what not to do, versus like what to do. See they got all this little stuff like sandwiched in here, like look at this little piece. And then like there's another little piece right next to it. It's like so hard to get in here. Um, so the other thing I was going to tell you is that when I was plugging it in, there was actually like water coming out of here. Okay, so, um, we're not really getting too far. We're not getting as far as I thought we would. So I was like really hopeful that maybe it did survive somehow. And it did actually like start like the Google start. And I hate all this tempered glass. There's like literally hundreds of like little fine um, fine circuits in this glass alone. There's another one of those screws. Like I wonder if she even has a torx bit small enough for this. I don't see one. This is like a really small Torx bit. Like I don't even think I have some in my mechanic set. Uh, 
Um, by the way, I would advise anybody taking apart their phone to wear safety glasses because I've had like a ton of glass like just sort of shoot out at my face. Ooh, there we go. That was a nice pop. This is nuts. Wow, okay, so I've learned that you pretty much have to take apart a phone from its... from its, like, screen area. This is, like, tinted, too. It's kind of interesting. I've never, I didn't know that, like, the phone glass is tinted like, like that is. I'm wondering, like, once I get this screen out of here, like, how much water is really going to be in here. I'm totally going to cut my fingers open, I know it. Okay. Okay, we're not doing too bad. This is the stuff that screens are made out of. So I guess I guess it is. Ooh, did I did I cut myself? I thought I felt water. There's like tons of little shards of glass everywhere. Okay. Um, we're in. I was wondering if maybe, hopefully, there was like, just like a little, um, oh look at that, there's like a little pad behind it, it's like a, it's like a sticker, this is probably like shock absorber material so that like when you drop it like your phone, your phone screen doesn't just shatter instantly. There's, it seems like there's a lot of different layers of, of a phone, which I didn't, I mean, I figured like it was all in here somehow, but I didn't actually like think it was going to be like this. And this is like stuck to my finger now. Wow. This stuff is sticky. It's like, it's not like sticky. It's just like, it's just like cling. It's like static cling. You can like see in here, there's like, there's like a, there's like an SD card slot, but it's like, it's not, it's not the right way. Oh, it is. Wait, is it? So this like SD, oh, this is a, uh, this, that's for the SIM card. Okay, so I can see the battery right here. Man, I need to find a Torx bit if it's, it's that small. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, so yeah, my drill is obviously dead. Um, but I, I also don't have the right torx bit for it, so it wasn't going to do a lot of good to, to drill it out anyway. Um, oh, I bet you. I bet you. Okay, that's actually really cool. So I'm just using this like really fine um, screwdriver to unscrew these. Uh, I know you guys probably can't see this. So the value of these pictures to me is extremely high because like I said, they're, they're ones of my son and I. So one thing I was thinking about doing was but I'm not so sure about doing it now, is uh, I obviously put the, the phone in a bag of rice for like, I don't know, two, three hours, something like that, I think. It wasn't a real long time, like I know you're supposed to do it for like a day or two, but at the same time I figured if this thing was completely in water, 
There's no way that like a bag of rice is gonna be able to absorb like everything in it. In it. Ugh, this last little screw. It definitely has water in it. Ooh, it did corrode. Oh no, it's all corroded in there. So being that it's all corroded now, I'm not sure about the actual being able to get my photos off of here because if something's corroded, then it's completely trash, basically. Uh, but I'm gonna keep digging, and then, like I said, I'm gonna try to plug it in, and uh, we'll see what happens. I was kind of hoping, like, it was like an SD card that, you know, like a solid state SD card where um, you could just sort of plug it in and it would show you what's on here. Basically, where, where water doesn't really matter because it's solid state, but obviously it does matter. And I think, I think. It didn't work because there was no juice in the foam. I don't know if that's the case or not, but... So right now I'm kind of taking this apart and it's kind of like up there by the camera area. By the front facing camera area. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can get more deeper into this because... I want to, if it's, if it is corroded, I want to be able to try to recover the memory chip. I don't even know what that looks like, but, um, I'm going to look for it anyway, because it's the kind of person I am. Hmm. This. So, um, yeah, so right here, there we go. That's nice and clear. So right here. We can uh, we can see the um, the camera is right under this piece of glass, and there's. I wonder if a Phillips would work. I wonder if one of these two Phillips would work. Like maybe just catch it right in the perfect spot. Huh, okay, so that did work. I've always like seen like those like phone glass repair shops that like just pop up out of nowhere and I always kinda like wondered like how they actually did that. Well now I know they basically have to destroy your phone in order to get this stuff. And then we have this so basically the end screws are really hard to get out. They're like pretty much impossible. So, that's where we go ham on it. Um, so there's like a ribbon cable underneath here. Uh, we don't want to destroy that or cut that because who knows what that goes to. Even though I think I just did. Man. It's still like amazingly rigid too. Um, I think that there's probably, there's probably still another screw underneath here. Underneath this part. Ow. Mm. No screw yet. You know what? There might not be a screw under here. Okay, so I basically have the screen off. It's taken me half an hour to get the screen off. Um, more than half an hour to get the screen off. It's kind of crazy. I thought I'd be a lot further by now, but I'm not. Um, so I'm still trying to get this like aluminum piece off. Like, trying to get the cover off.
Oh yeah, and then there's, still, there's still two screws at the very top. There's that one. You just gotta go slow and add like a lot of pressure to it. And like once they get like loosened up, they'll like come right out. And then once you hear that popping sound, then you know that they're out. So I could probably, ooh, there we go. That sounded good. Ooh. Okay, so we know that the key is getting the top screws out. Look at that, you can see everything underneath there. Oh wow, okay, here we go. Now we're in. We're in like Flynn. Okay, so, um, Looks like pretty much everything has been destroyed. We still don't have anything that looks like a memory chip. And at this point I really can't take anything more apart, but it does have a pretty big battery. And the battery was put together 7-5 of 2016, so it was pretty recently that it was made. Okay, let's try to plug it in now and hope it doesn't blow up. Dun, 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 dun. Bloop! Okay, so the little red light that was blinking is part of this panel, which is no longer attached. Uh, probably could reattach it. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, the, the little red light came on. That's pretty amazing. So I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys can see it in the other camera, but the little red light is blinking again like it did. So it definitely is like powering up and like everything else. Um, it is like... Okay, you can see it in that screen too. And hopefully on that screen you can see it too. So yeah, you guys can see it. Right there, you see it blinking? So, it does still power up, which is pretty cool. Um, you know what I probably could do? Is I probably could... Tear this little piece off. Okay, so that's cool. I tore that little piece off, and look at you can still see it like light up. It still lights up. And you can see that in every camera. Uh, it just went off, now it'll come back on. So that's, that's actually really cool that, that you can just rip it off and it still uses, it still lights up like that. Um, so now, the trouble is, we're no, we're no, closer to the memory card than we were before. And I still don't know where the memory card is. But you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to try to... Let's see here. So I actually have a cord that has two male uh...
Okay, so let me see if I can hopefully... And the red light's coming on too, that's, that's a really good sign. Okay, let's go to photos. Let's see if it's backing up photos. 31 photos left, waiting for Wi-Fi. Oh, I'll turn my Wi-Fi on. USB supplying power to attach device. Transfer files. Doesn't look to me like any of the photos being backed up are off of this phone. Um, although this phone is, if it were working, it would be on Wi-Fi. Seventeen photos left. Sixteen photos left. Scan photo. Let's see if it'll detect the other photos on this phone. I doubt it will, but it might. Let me change screens here for a second. Oh, yeah, that's actually really cool. Um, that view. So it's downloading that app into my phone while this is still charging from this phone. Um, I'm not really sure, like, what... I'm not really sure where, like, the memory chip is still. But I do know that it's, it's, it's really corroded in here, which doesn't surprise me. And then there's like these little switches or something. They're like little switches that like would know if that other panel was down. So I don't know, if maybe that's part of the problem. I was, like I said, I was really hoping that there was like a regular SD card, like memory chip in here that I could just like take out and put in my computer. Oh, that's the, is that the speaker? I think that's the speaker down there. And there's another little port that says CW5, but it's not, it would normally not be accessible to the outside of the phone. So the majority of this phone looks like it's just the battery. And then there's like this central processor that's just massive. Hello? Uh, I'm pretty good, how about you?